Hello guys and girls, I'm just going to show you the uh, a bit of an update on the old Honda MT50. We've actually converted it to 6 volt, uh, sorry, to 12 volts from 6 volts using a little step up uh, a little step up DC to DC converter. Um, and yes, there's a little cool something extra with the headlight as well. Of course, let's face it, 6 volt headlights are not very bright. Well, watch this. Uh, helps if you put the ignition on first, doesn't it? Oh wow, just look at the improvement in brightness! Look how bright that is! Nah, I'm joking with you guys, okay? You want brightness? Watch this. What is this sorcery I hear you say? Well, this, I think, is the first moped with a HID headlight. Um, it needs a little bit of work doing to it for the beam patterns and whatnot. But as you can see, that is dazzling bright. Quite cool, isn't it? Of course, I'll turn it off to save the battery. Because we've not got much of a battery on this thing. It's only running it on a, uh, on a 7 amp hour, uh, sorry, a 1.5 amp hour battery. Let me give the old bike a start up and gas myself out because it is a bit smoky smoky. Make sure the fuel's on. There we go. It's a Honda so it'll naturally start up with ease. Like I say, all we need to do now is sort out the beam pattern on it by adjusting the bulb. <coughs> wow, it's got a bit smoky in here. Two stroke smoke! <coughs> I've almost fallen over. A bit carcinogenic. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it is amazingly bright now compared to how it used to be. And this is England, and it's beautifully raining as you can see. Wonderful. But yes, what an improvement! So before we had uh, 25 watts worth of lighting coming out, the fr coming out the front of it. Now we've got 35 watts of lighting coming out the front of it, but obviously with it being a different colour temperature, it works a damn sight lot better. Not a bad, not, not, not bad, not bad, not a bad light source coming out, out the bike now. My biggest worry was you'd never ever get seen on the thing. Well, you get seen. It's had a, an LED brake light put in the back, 12 volts obviously, um, and a 12 volt HID light put in the front. So it works really well. Like I say, it just needs some tape put in around the headlight so we don't dazzle people. We'll uh, have a look at the beam pattern on the, uh, on the garage door in, in the dark. And it'll be absolutely brilliant. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, yeah, indicators are also 12 volts now as well. I think I'll find it. Oh, bloody hell, that's the horn. Sorry about that, guys. Stupidly bright indicators now. Yeah, it works brilliantly well. I've also got a new ignition barrel in there as well because the old one was, well, 30 years old. So you could pull the key out while it, while it was in the turned on position, it was that worn out. <laughs> but yes, that's it, guys. Sorry it's so dark in here. I was doing it with the lights off. There we go. Yep, thanks for watching, guys. This restoration project's about complete. All it needs is for the. Uh, guy there to get his uh, CBT done, you can go out and ride it. Peace out guys.